If you've been paying attention to what we've been doing so far, you probably noticed that there are some uh, default styles in the browser. There are spaces in between some of these elements that I haven't explicitly um, defined. Um, we have a certain font size in here, um, the fact that it's bold, same, same for this part in here for the titles of the, of the table, and I want us to cover in a bit uh, what's called the box model. It's one of the main core concepts in CSS. And I think having these default styles uh, affects uh, in a way because it's putting on uh, margins and, and, uh, and uh, that we don't necessarily want to have like this uh, separation here. And the thing is also that different web browsers or different devices might have different default for these things. So maybe one browser will have um, an, a certain number of pixels for separation of a title number two or for uh, indenting of a, of a list, but then another web browser will have different um, different values for these separations. So um, what I think is good to use when you're creating your own styles is what's called a reset.css uh, file. That you can find them online. I've provided one with the with the course files and we'll, we'll have that included in all of the videos from now on so that we have full control of what this thing is going to look like. Some of the stuff is not covered by the by this uh, file, like the links are still going to look blue, but we are also going to change that in a bit. So um, I recommend you to have a quick look at the file reset.css and uh, if you look at it now, you won't understand anything of it. It's not going to make sense. It's just a text file with a lot of CSS. But by the end of the course, I want you to open it again and just have a, a, another look. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to find a lot of it um, interesting to look at, that you're going to understand a lot of what's there. Not everything, but it's not going to be like a, for a completely foreign language to you like it might be if you look at it now. Um, so what I'll do now is include this file, um, duplicating the line using um, Control D or Command D, and it has to go at the beginning because you want it to reset the styles and then from then on you're going to overwrite, uh, you're, you're going to add your own styles. Whereas if you put it after style.css it might mess up with your own styles, it might replace them. Um, so as you can see now it got rid of all of that stuff that now the titles don't and the lists don't have any sort of margin, spacings and you're good to go and to get started with the box model in the next video.